Good morning, folks. We're checking in on Ernesto again today. We'll see two excellent papers involving Earth's magnetic field, and of course, we're deep into sunspot maximum, so we'll begin, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where the low-level M-class solar flares have continued. We still have the potential for larger eruptions, but they haven't manifested yet. Minor events confined to the corona is all we have so far. The watch going forward is for the sunspots since they are continuing to move around and change shape and magnetic configuration. Northern spots show a lot of umbral combination but lack the high umbral core counts and magnetic complexity that we see in the south. Watch the leading group down there come from an east-west split bunching of umbra to a train nearly continuous line of umbra. It's the central area here we want to monitor for further development. Up next, Ernesto has moved past Canada and is heading into the northern Atlantic open waters. Forecasts show it's still tracking east towards northern Europe, but the wind map forecast shows that it should be combining with other lows in the region. This is likely to be a major rain and flooding event. UK, Ireland, Eyes open in the days ahead, it is coming your way. Up next, we go to a master's thesis on monarch butterflies. Monarchs don't make significant migrations, so the goal here was to see how magnetic fields affected their short-term flights, while it didn't guide groups' directional travel. Individual butterflies exposed to the fields were able to align themselves for various purposes. The door is open for further research into magnetic impacts on their foraging and mating locations. Last but not least, it's the first time I've seen a study of the changing auroral oval in concert with Earth's ongoing magnetic pole shift. By using decades of auroral records combined with modeling of where the field lines were found over time, their inclination and directional components, they found that the auroras are indeed changing shape and occurrence zones with the changing magnetic field of Earth. While many have presumed this would be true, myself included, this is the first study to measure it scientifically and officially call it out. Awareness is rising in the scientific community. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.